Hello, I'm Matt and welcome back to Workshop. Last time I made a picture frame sled, so I thought I'd better make a frame to demonstrate how it all works. This was some old garden bench I was ripping down for this, so it's definitely going to be rustic. I didn't actually have anything to frame, so I thought I'd make a pin board instead. Same as any frame, it needs a rebate cut in it to hold whatever you're framing. This could be your pitcher, glass and backboard, but for me it's a backing board and some cork board. So to use the sled. The rebate goes against the fence and then the first 45 gets cut. The cut edge now gets moved to the stop block. The stop block is set to the dimensions of what I'm framing. Then I can make the second cut. I need two long pieces for the sides so I can repeat that and they should be exactly the same with the stop block. And then I can cut two smaller pieces for the top and the bottom. These are just going to get glued together. I have got some V nails I could put in and I've got a spline jig so I could support it with that. But I've really never found the frame has come apart on me. So as this is just a simple project, glue will do. And if it comes apart, I'm sure I'm capable of fixing it. I've Veritas clamped to hold it all together and this really does a great job of pulling everything square. And then it can be just left to dry. While it's drying, I can get on with what's actually going in it. So I've got some thin plywood that I'm going to use as a backer board. I cut this down to the size of two cork tiles that I have left over from another project. I say another project, it was obviously laying a cork floor. I had a bit of the adhesive left, so it was great to use this up and get another thing off my shelves. I'm a bit old school and still like to use a pin board. Just think of a Pinterest, but analog. Glue had dried, I gave the frame a quick sand. I'm just going to leave it unfinished and natural. Then the cork tiles can be put in place and it all just held in with some little panel pins. I want these to be easy to take off the wall as I use this bit of wall for photo shoots so a little keyhole plate will make it easy to take on and off. And that's them all done. Now I've got somewhere to keep my stickers. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.